One of the things uh, I also found working with kids with autism, uh, at least from talking to parents with kids with autism, is a lot of parents would have a concern of their kids using technology and just having a hard time breaking away from that. Uh, they were worried about becoming, their kids becoming addicted to technology uh, or just spending far too much time on tech and not really engaging in other interactions. And so uh, it's become a bit of a, a passion of mine, kind of looking at um, you know, how much screen time is okay, what are the factors that get people involved in screens, uh, or just technology in general, what's this idea of like abstinence and not using anything at all versus kind of like this moderation approach. Uh, and like how much is, is too much that way. So I've spent a lot of time researching that uh, and done quite a few presentations as well. In the research, one of the, the biggest things that stands out is people who are researching it are worried that, um, that we are becoming addicted or this is becoming a really big problem. Um, I'm probably uh, personally less concerned about it most people having a problem with it, although we do find there's a small portion of the population that tends to struggle managing their tech time. The greatest recommendations we have is, is using not more than about two hours a day on screen time. So that's including you know, videos, TV, phone, tablets, games, things like that. Uh, whereas most people use more than that uh, already. So the average is about three hours per day for teens. Uh, and, and young adults that way. If you include school time where computers are also being used, it actually goes up to about seven hours a day on screen time. But that seems to be more functional, practical, helpful time. Uh, the things that become more problematic is actually how we use it. Uh, so what drives us to want to veg out uh, and just watch TV or, or kind of escape reality and play video games. Uh, tends to be those reasons why that can be far more unhelpful rather than just the amount of time. The time still matters, so if someone's spending all day, like every day, on tech and just glued to it, that's still a problem, but usually there's something else kind of driving that. Uh, so whether people feel like they're, they're lonely that way or they're kind of trying to escape something unpleasant about their current reality and using that as a way of ignoring or avoiding real problems. Uh, then that tends to be more problematic and drives more problematic behaviors with tech. When I talk about driving um, problematic behaviors in terms of autism specifically, uh, some of the concerns are disengaging from family uh, or from other friends and relationships and becoming very isolated when that's not the most helpful thing for them. Uh, also, one of the things we see um, is that you can get more oppositional behaviors. So when, when tech time is supposed to be over and a parent says like, hey, we need to stop playing video games right now, uh, sometimes you can get really upset about that. It's hard to shift gears uh, and leave something that's so fun or entertaining or as, a, as an avoidance. Uh, and so it's, it becomes like lots of arguments <laughs> that can occur in the family, um, fighting back and forth, sometimes getting even like violent or angry that way. Um, so we, we like to avoid that if possible and find good ways of managing that.